Welcome back to the Now Morning Show here on TTG. And of course, it is Tobago Thursday. Yeah, yeah, we're calling it Tobago Thursday because that's where we are in the sister island of Tobago. And uh, we are talking tourism uh, right about now and plans basically to change Tobago's service culture. What exactly does that mean? So to find out what that means, because it's supposed to be sort of like a three-year plan or a three-year target, but we'll find out exactly which it is. Uh, we are speaking this morning with Stephen Shepard, who is the CEO of the Tobago Hospitality and Tourism Institute, as well as Louis Lewis, who is of the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited. So let me say Good morning to you, gentlemen, and good morning to Tobago once again. Welcome. Good morning, Hi. good morning to you and also your audience. Such a pleasure to have you both here with us this morning. Now, when we are talking about changing things and doing things differently, it's either or a combination of that there is something wrong or there, there are things that need to be improved. Which would you say it is, or a combination of what, what would you say it is, and what is it that we need to change or improve with respect to the tourism in Tobago? Well, in, in the context of customer service, we, it has been recognized and acknowledged that the customer service delivery requires an, an upgrade, a boost, an enhancement. Um, but particularly in the context of the establishment of the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited, and looking to make Tobago more competitive in the international tourism sphere, we have embarked on this initiative where we want to enhance our competitiveness and the customer service is part of a larger initiative aimed at enhancing competitiveness in a very, very aggressive tourism um, industry. So this initiative is really aimed at at uh, um, enhancing the competitiveness and addressing a fundamental issue that has been recognized. How do you tend to do that, though? Because it's a very competitive, um, it's very competitive out there, you know, various islands, various countries and things like that. How does Tobago intend to make that difference to attract tourists? Well, That's precisely what has been done. Um, Tobago, the assets of Tobago are similar to St. Lucia, Grenada, Barbados, and so on. Tourists have a choice, and as you know, you will go where your service is best. So you can't compete on sun and sand and beaches and so on. But service certainly you can, and if you put, if you are known as providing the best service, that's your competitive edge. What do you agree? Yeah. No, and, and, and precisely, it's it's the point of differentiation, and um, like like Stephen has just mentioned. Is a similarity in product, and even if we can find significant differences in the marketplace, there's a perception. But we are staring to go into that area where customer service is going to become legendary, and legendary for positive reasons. And um, it's it's how we intend not only to stand out, but at the same time, it it redounds exactly to the bottom line. So how we can get more out of a tourism industry and that we have recognized as part of our economic landscape. Now, there's the call, um, THA Secretary General, Chief Secretary Ansel Dennis, he did mention, well, you mentioned the uplifting the service as well as uh, training the island in customer service. How do you intend to go about doing that though? What is the plan to actually train the island and the services offered in Tobago um, to better customer service? How's that gonna unfold? Right. So the training has already started. It started with what we call service leaders. We've had two sessions already. And the plan is to train everyone in all touch points. And this is, and let me just re emphasize this is not for tourists, this is for everyone. So when we treat each other well, we treat everyone in Tobago well, everyone in Trinidad and Tobago well, we will become legendary for excellent service and people will come and stay. But think of it. Tourists or any visitor to Tobago does not only stay in a hotel. You come through the airport, if it's international, immigration, customs, gas stations, police, groceries, everywhere. So every touch point that every visitor or every resident or every national has to experience will be trained up to a certain level. Okay. It's a three-year target or a three-year plan. Is it that at the end of three years that you want to see these changes or you're working through these three years to, to get there? 
Well, given the number of people that we trade, we estimate around 12,000. It will take three years. We do it in a very systematic, structured manner. But you will start to see improvements long before three years. Okay. And that's three years that over the entire, entire island. What's your uh, view? Go ahead. Sorry, maybe maybe I could just add a little um just add a little to what um, Dr. Shepard has just mentioned. It, it's taking a very holistic approach towards service excellence. Um, we have infused into the process the leadership group, which um, Dr. Shepard just mentioned, has actually started, mm -hmm. and we are going to be moving towards the building blocks. And it's about addressing the fundamental issues that make service delivery, um, or that inhibit the current level of service delivery from being at its best. And it's also tying this in with the branding that we have for Destination um, Tobago, which is going beyond. So it's, 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 it actually is going beyond. How do we provide service in a beyond, for beyond experience? Um, so it's burying those two and touching every single point within the society. Because if you, wherever you fall short, it has a greater tendency to compromise the entire picture. Um, so we want to touch every area of the visitor touch points, you know, and, and like um, Dr. Shepard mentioned, the immigration, the customs, the taxi drivers, the bank, the supermarkets, you know, even members of the, the, the THA as well, because it has to be a cultural adjustment that is being made so that Tobago can be recognized as that destination where your experience is beyond ordinary. Let me get back to our brand line. And I would also assume that there would have to be a, a, a more stable, I suppose we're getting to that as well, uh, where they're almost there, a more stable transportation uh, system between Trinidad and Tobago, especially for want of supplies and that type of thing to service the industry. Well, when you see customer service exists within a larger ecosystem um, so that the product has to deliver. And, the, and when I say product has to deliver, we are also working in a parallel with the product development initiatives. We are also working with enhancing the promotion of, of Tobago, you know, internationally. So you'd see some of the eco labels that we have attained so far, the flag pilot status, <clears throat> the green key status for some of the accommodation properties and it's moving into restaurants and the like. You see property upgrades and customer service is also an enhancer of that overall picture as part of the, the global and I say global in the context of Tobago, the overall adjustment that we are making with the, the, the product. What is your view though, and how do you think it may affect, because you said that the training has already started, uh, and we spoke with um, Ms. Tr uh, Tracy Davidson Celeste earlier this morning about vaccinations in Tobago. How do you think the lack of wanting to be vaccinated in Tobago may affect all of this? Well, on, we look at it from two perspectives. The unfortunate thing about it <clears throat> is that the hesitancy, the vaccination hesitancy, is, that is also, just like the pandemic, a global issue. But then we have to combat it. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's a change process. When I look at the progress that has happened, there was outward hesitancy at the big, at, you know, in the early stages. We can see a bit of a pickup. Hopefully, that will evolve into a greater recognition and some of the fears that exist now will subside over time. I think um, at the initial stages, even myself was initially a skeptic, but now there's a clear evidence before me that you know it is safe. I mean, it's it's been months, nearly a year since people have been vaccinated, and some clear issues stand out. The the people who are falling ill are not those who are vaccinated. Most of the people who are dying are not those who are vaccinated. So eventually, I think people will come around, and it will all add the whole <clears throat> enhancement of the, the, the tourism product. And because we are small, we can get to that point quicker than most of the destinations. Okay. Now, you say that the training is already um, happening, so it's taking place. So right now, there's only domestic tourism taking place. Um, there are no international flights coming into Tobago. Um, hopefully, that's going to change soon, depending on how things go with respect to COVID-19, the vaccinations and, and that type of thing. But as a Trinidadian now in, uh, coming across to Tobago, can we expect to see any of those changes as a, a domestic tourist coming to Tobago yet? Or do is it still, you know, happening and, you know, in train to work? No, it's, it's, actually, 
Sorry, I, I, let, I let Stephen address this one. <laughs> yes, you will. So, it, it will. so this is not, as I said earlier, it is not for foreign tourists. Any visitor to Bego, even to the Williams, going from one village to another village, you will experience an enhanced quality of service. You know, once it's really gets rolled out at the ground level. For now, it's at the leadership level. And as a trainer, then you will experience an enhanced level of service in a couple months. There was some time, it is not a magic, it is not overnight. But you will experience it. So please look on. Okay. All right, so we can look forward to a lot of great changing uh, changes happening in uh, Tobago with respect to tourism. It's such a beautiful island, and it's just so much more, as you said, than the sand, the sea, and that type of thing. So there are many, many different things that Tobago can offer as a tourist destination. So I just want to thank you so very much. You're making me want to come there right now. Seriously, it's, it, no, it really is so tempting. So thank you for uh, telling us about the plans to change uh, Tobago service culture. Uh, Stephen Shepard of the Tobago Hospitality and Tourism Institute, as well as Louis Lewis of the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited. Thank you, Tobago. Uh -huh. And you'll keep it from as you go along. Uh, please you go do. Please, please do. We want to know what we need to know. Thank you so much. <laughs>